What's up guys? We have our last video about secondary essays, at least in this series. And we're gonna talk about how you know you're ready to submit. What should you be doing right before you click submit on those secondary essays? I'm Ryan Gray, and this is my YouTube channel. If you don't already subscribe, please click that subscribe button and that bell to be notified of new videos. Don't forget to like and comment on this video if you have any great suggestions for secondary essays as well. So you've worked hard. You've hopefully pre-written your secondary essays using our database at secondaryapps.com, and now you're ready to click submit. But there's a little tremor in your finger as you're hovering over the mouse button and you're trying to figure out if everything is perfect. Trust me, you could spend hours and hours and days and days looking over, combing over everything in your secondary essays, and you'll never really feel ready to submit them. And so you really need to go to an outside source to give you that motivation and encouragement that your essays are ready. So you can go to a mentor, you should go to your pre-med advisor, and you can go to family and friends. The secondary essays are easier to have other people who really aren't familiar with the process give you feedback on the essays. Unlike a personal statement, which is a journey of your kind of path to medicine and why you want to be a doctor, secondary essays are really answering a specific question. And somebody can read what that question is and look at what you are writing for your answer and answer the question, did I answer the question? So I read a lot of secondary essays from students and they don't really ever get to what the question is. They're trying to force in their own narrative. They're trying to show some sort of thing. They're trying to sell, right? One of the things we talked about in our do's and don'ts video. And whether it's on purpose or by accident, the person reading your secondary essay will know that you didn't answer the question and they'll move on to the next application. And so as you hand off these essays to someone else, really ask them to, to answer the question, did I answer the question? Now, what is in your answer is important as well, right? We, again, we wanna make sure we don't have any typos, grammatical errors. I really highly recommend Grammarly. I have an affiliate link for that in the comments below, and that'll really help kind of clean up your punctuation and sentence structure and typos. But really, obviously, look through with a fine tooth comb as well, just to double check and make sure there are no big red flags that Grammarly might miss as well. And as you are going through your essays, really determine, am I showing my story, right? Show versus tell that we've talked about previously. Am I showing the reader my journey that I've been on that's answering this question? Now, let me give you an example. Now, a secondary essay for a osteopathic medical school was asking about what has your experience been that has brought you to being interested in osteopathic medicine. And the student answered by showing this great story of shadowing a physician. And I'm reading the answer. I'm reading her essay. And it didn't really mention anything about osteopathic medicine until the very end that said, and this is why I'm interested in osteopathic medicine. Now it doesn't answer the question. It did a great job of showing her story of showing the experience that she had while shadowing and really painting a picture of that interaction with the physician and the patient. But at the end of the day, it didn't answer the question. And so if you have a question that comes up, you're like, well, I don't really know if I have a specific answer for this. Make sure that however you answer it, you're answering the question. You're not just filling it with fluff to, to try to move on to the next question. So once you get that feedback, you've looked over your essay, you've run it through Grammarly and everything looks great, stop for a second, relook at the school's mission. Are there opportunities for you to fit in, not necessarily forcing in, but fit in a potential narrative around how you're answering the question that may highlight something that the school goes, wow, that really fits our mission without specifically calling out, hey, look at how I fit this mission of your school. Right, again, that's selling yourself. But if you can highlight something in your story, a highlight an activity 
from your journey that answers the question first and foremost, but also fits the narrative of the school's mission, then try to work your answers in that specific way. And if you need to go get more feedback from somebody, if you rewrite your answers and go get more feedback, that's fine, right? Obviously remember, the secondary essays have a, a finite amount of time to turn them around, and so the, this process can't go on and on and on, like maybe a personal statement editing process can, so you need to do this pretty quickly. But if you can add in something about the school's mission as well, as part of your story, as part of the activities that you're bringing into your secondaries, then that's a great job. Now once you have double checked and triple checked spelling and everything else, you've gotten sign off from your pre-med advisor, from a family friend, from a mentor who's a physician, whoever that may be, you're ready to submit your essays. Remember, secondary essays typically cost some money, so you have to make sure that you have the funds available to click submit as well. After you click submit, then the waiting game starts for that invitation for an interview. And we'll have lots of great videos coming up about the interview process and how to shine on your interview day as well. But be excited that you're finally at that point where you click submit and your application is basically done. Congratulations, you've made it this far and hopefully on to the next step of your interview.